All the life is a perpetual trip. All what we discover in the world is the long way to discover ourselves. For me, the art is a perpetual movement. It turns. We use the past. The past is projected and becomes the future. The archetypes, which are following my ideas, the most important elements which make that an art piece as an influence and gets attention during centuries or thousands of years is because they are archetypes. The creation is a long adventure. All what you see in art is made from this. Pigments. These are dones from oxides. The oxides are done by chemical reactions on metals. If an artist wants to be complete about the serious painters of the 15th century, he had to be in more of a painter, a sculptor. Because when you sculpt, you learn physically the sense of the movement of the skin, of the bodies. When you have had several, several models composed not only for painting, but for sculpturing. So when you do these sculptures, you see the colors that are the oxides, the colors that I described. So the beginning is to learn the human's body and to learn the colors. Then the secret of the principle is to understand all what is in the art is born from the nature. Long, long time ago, the Chinese were the first one to understand they were able to make masterpieces that we had to wait until Leonardo to see the same things. We'd analyze very well the fact that the artist is the man who as this sublimation which permits him to transfer everything into a technical support. A journalist asked to Salvador Dali what will be the art after the surrealism. And Dali answered, it will be the hyperrealism metaphysic. If you take off the hyperbol Dalinian, tip realism metaphysic it brings to the art of the ideas who returns to the origin of the art. As said Picasso, it's necessary to deconstruct to reconstruct. The painting is covered by music paper. You have a lot of reliefs. You have all the techniques coming from the cubism the transparency is coming from the classicism and the motifs are typically influenced by the period Art Deco. Rembrandt was not doing his own pigments. He was using earth. Everyone can use earth. These are realized into a very strong oven at temperatures which are over 300 degrees Celsius. Nobody can do that at home, it's dangerous. And you see, that's cobalt. Nobody can <laughs> play with cobalt. <laughs>